Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I got a bunch of figures all done by Bomb Star Outcast Customs. If he done did it this time, we got all these figures to go over. Each one of these, besides the old man Battle Cat and He Man, he got inspiration from some artwork, which I'm gonna show you. Even He Man shocked about these figures. They look good. But starting off, we're gonna go over two of them that are in Skeletor's Wrecking Crew. First up, we got Major Header, the evil living wrecking ball. A crazy looking motherfucker right here. Oh, I love the way he looks. Starting off with them big ass boots right there. The metal steel toes, good for kicking. And then moving up, got them big ass wristbands, followed by that. Looks like a breathing apparatus right there on the chest. And then that fucking face. Oh, that shit looks so crazy. Definitely loving the spike helmet with the chain that you connect his head to. But then right next to his ass, we got Bubbler, evil master of toxins. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting heavy Batman Beyond villain vibes radiating from his ass. From that big ass arm cannon all the way to that dome mask with the skull under it. I definitely think he looks badass. Such a creative use of pieces right there. Looks like he used one of them, uh, them caps from one of those gumball machines, you know what I mean? With the dome head. Hey, if you can work it, it works for me. And right there on the back of the body, all the details look good. Right off with the boots, moving our way up to the back plate. Right there with the shoulder pads, loving the hoses going around to the front. And then all them spikes all up over the helmet. Oh, that shit looks like it would hurt. And then his backpack, I don't know if y'all noticed, but that shit to me, I knew what it was. He made those out of two, what is that? Two super glue containers. Glue that shit right there to the back. Worked around with the hoses. Very creative and I love it. Right here, his special feature. Oh, I can't wait to show you, you see that shit? Look at this shit go. Strong ass magnet on the neck. Very creative with that one. Makes it so he can swing that thing around. A human wrecking ball. Yup, I definitely say so. That shit is strong. It probably hurts you if I hit you with it. Great job, Bomb Star Outcast. Right here, let me show you how it connects. And it got it. All right, let me show you again. You see that shit right there? Sticks right on the neck. Perfect. That right there is thinking out the box. Great idea to put a magnet underneath it there and have it connect flawlessly. That's two thumbs up on the first two. But we got to go to the next one. Right here we got Dilemma Evil Horde Mugger. Yeah, that motherfucker, look at him. He looks like a monkey ass, all right. With all those extra weapons right there, the different arms. Oh, he looks so badass. Stone off right down there with the feet. I can tell that he used some type of uh, spawn figure to use some, see what I'm saying? Some of the pieces. I'm not sure which one. That fucking face, though. Oh, that shit looks hot. Definitely loving that chainsaw arm right there. And then that nice sword arm right there. Poke people up with. Followed by that weapon that looks like it'll hurt somebody. And the gun right there, the helmet with the logo, representing hard. When it gets better than that, look at this shit. The mouth opens up. So let's just say if you want him to bite somebody, you can put their leg or arm in there. He'll chomp that shit right up. Right here from the back of the body. Oh, I love just how everything is put together. He's got that big ass jetpack. And then it's just the details in the arms. And it might be hard to tell, but the articulation works really good and i know some of y'all might be thinking hey that's not exactly made out of motu pieces this is something you couldn't really do with motu pieces and i'm fine with that right there from the side view oh my god the detail he just looks medicine bomb star outcast customs i love this one right here great job brother but we got some more to go over and this next one, oh, this was a nice one. Right here, we got the Stegosaurus that he did based off the old vintage artwork. Right here, this would have been a vehicle for the Evil Horde. <laughs> this shit looks crazy. How he put all the little mechanical shit all up on the legs, all up on the feet. And then them big ass wings right there. But that fucking little face. Yeah, I know he's got a little face, but Stegosaurus, they got little ass faces. So it works for me. There's some articulation in the bottom of them legs, but right there working our way up to them big ass. Now they look like wings to me, and I'm gonna show you a way that I can adjust them to make them the wings. But they're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, like a, like a platform that Hordak or whoever can stand on. And I gotta move down as far as they'll go like this. But later on, I'm gonna flip them around and I'll show you what else they can do. 
But right there, the guns work great. I'll show you that in a second. But a special action feature that came with the dinosaur that's still intact. Let me pull this shit over here. See if I can do it with one hand. Hold on a second. Let me just get a good grip. There it is. Look at that shit. He's got swing and tail action right there. That's a bonus in my book. Right here, let me show you how this gun shoots real quick. Booyah! There it is, folks. Right here, turning the wings around, just like I was saying how I was gonna make them look like wings and shit. Right there, instead of being blasters, now he's blasting off right into space, flying around and shit. Still could set somebody right there on the top. Man in the guns, you see what I'm saying? It looks like it can fly. <laughs> looks good enough for me. And all I had to do was just turn them wings all the way around he didn't make it to do that, but hey, now it's mine, I do what I want. And I flipped the wings around just like that. Highly satisfied with how this came out. And then right here, putting the Hornack on the top, ready to shoot somebody. It looks good. He's got just enough feet room right there to stand on each joint. And at first, when he was in the process of making it, I didn't know how he was going to do it by adding the platform on the back. But I'm glad that he did it. And he went with the wing looking things on the side. Great choice, Bombstar Outcast, but we got another one. Look at, God damn, God damn. These two are straight fire. Look at the detail all up in this old cringy right here, old Battle Cat, with the detail that he put in the legs, adding extra fur, making the paws articulated, going all the way up to the chest, all the hair, all the gray age. You can see that shit right there. Let me take the helmet off. Look at the details. Oh my God. I love this one right here. The details right there and the main extra hair, all the extra hair in the face. It definitely gives his ass some age. Much needed. And then right here, he calls his ass He-Man Pride. And he based this off an idea his buddy had. And let's just say if there was a universe where there was just a He-Man, there was nobody else there. He was the last one alive. And he ends up going over around the different universes to help other He-Man out that just can't get it done themselves. That's why he's there. That's why he wears that hood. That fucking face looks so good. Taking a look with the hoodie off. Right there, you see the battle scar. You see all the age and everything on his body. From the harness to the shield. And then taking a look at the back of the body. Right there, he made a nice little part for the sword to stick in. Loving how the shoulder pads look with the cape. And then the whole... All the detail right here from a side view of this battle cat. That looks so good. Oh my God. I'm sorry, folks, but I am just in awe of looking at this thing. Look at the detail with the gray and making them back legs bigger with the front was an excellent choice, especially with adding that articulation on the paws, which I'll show you all in a minute. This is the battle cat that I didn't know I needed, but now that I got it, I'm so glad that I have it. Next up, I want to do some comparison between the regular Battle Cat and this old Battle Cat. And right there, that side view, you definitely see the difference all up in the legs. And then right there in the front of the mane, the face. It's amazing what some molding clay and some paint could do just to add a little bit of extra oomph to a Battle Cat. As you know, these bitches are cheap right now. And Ollie's, if you got the skills and the patience to put something like this together, I highly recommend doing it. And if you don't, hey, reach out to Bumps or Cast. He might hook your ass up. Right here, comparing just that one next to that one from a front view. I love it. I love the upgrade. And part of me might have wanted him to mess with the teeth. But then after actually looking at both, I'm glad that he did it. Because the teeth wouldn't grow. But right there, looking at them paws, you see how he cut all that shit down. Put some joints in there. Made that shit so it could articulate a little bit. I'll show you right after this how much it can articulate. All right, check this out right here. I got old Battle Cat tippy-toeing and shit right there in front of the young Battle Cat, which can't move at all. I love that. Right here comparing both He-Men. That fucking face. Ha, he got that beard looking good. I love how it just goes around right there. The chin going with the gray all up in there. And that scar on the face is really doing it for me. Two thumbs up on both of these figures, Bombstar Outcast. All in all, folks, I am very satisfied with everything this man has done 
right here in front of you. And I highly recommend y'all check his workout on his Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll put all his links in the description. But if I was to vote on my favorite in line from worst to best, which ain't nothing to worst. But right here, probably pick the, maybe the dinosaur, you know what I'm saying? He, he might be in last place. You know what I mean? But that, that's only because there's so much other stuff that I was excited about. And then after that, I'm going to probably go with Bubbler, then the robot, then Major Header. But all three of them are very closely tied together. But then the top of the top of the cream of the crop is the old Battle Cat and Cringer. Especially that Cringer. Right between the two, yeah, Cringer's my top dog right there. Love that. Well, that's it for these figures. But actually, later on in the day, I got to go pick up some more from Bobstar Outcast. But before then, I got another video coming up. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.